Hivi jeno wangapi wamekuwa karibu na waheshimiwa na wao? Sema raka kura yako ni wapi? Ni wapi? Siji juu. Basi na kuwa. Sisi ndio gesi vijana walikuwa nazo. Kia wa bunge fulani wameenda wamwekea board na wametoka. They were making close to 5 million shillings per day. But the unrest is bigger than the other. My daughter Ali niambia mamu siniache kwa sababu ni tauliwa. These gangs have been there. We expect that they will be they will be used and there will be exploitation. We are driving into a notoriously dangerous and blighted neighborhood of a criminal gang famous for its history of violence and organized crime. Our source has arranged for a meeting. However, our driver warns us that we are being watched as we look for the right spot to pull into. As we sneak around the unmarked roads, waiting for a rendezvous, I cannot help but notice the incompatible affiliation between poverty and crime overlapped by social and economic deterioration. The only instinct for many here is the drive to survive. After a while, we find ourselves going round in circles. The gang has gone dark and our meeting is cancelled. The gang has been tipped off an operation to flush them out. The full force of the country's security is in town. <laughs> Not far from our mission, the Interior Cabinet Secretary with security bosses are meeting with residents who are still reeling from the shock and horror of the vicious hand that knocked on their doors. Six women have been killed in just two weeks, some raped and their bodies set on fire. Confirm, Amazijui wanaitwa nani yao watu? Now, our aim as government and security sector people is to wipe out those people from this area completely. I have sat there with pastor feeling pain. You are following a young girl, an innocent young girl, kwa nyumba yake kumuwa. Bishop Jotham Opicho, sandwiched between security officials, is hosting the meeting in his church compound, clinging to the hope that his daughter will rest in peace knowing that justice was served. Across the road, church members and the local community are holding a memorial service at the bishop's house to mourn the death of 25-year-old Diana Nafula Opicho. The human loss is devastating and her gruesome death has tested their faith. Diana had just returned from Bahrain where she had worked for two years. She came back in the month of March, and she has been with me, and she was preparing. She was preparing herself to go to Lebanon. Actually, on Monday, before she, she made her death, on Monday she had gone to Nairobi to take uh, the tests to go uh, to Lebanon. She had gotten some work there. Bishop Opicho was in Marigat in Baringo County with other pastors for prayer and fasting when he received a phone call that Diana was dead. 
driving all the way from Molok, um, uh, Radad, all the way to this place, it was just uh, in denial until we came and saw it, the real thing. And that is why I wouldn't wish anything like this to happen to anybody. No, not to, not to any parent. Because uh, death is painful. Diana was found dead in this house after her attackers posed as electrical technicians and entered the home at 2 p.m. Her brother was in town and tried phoning her several times before returning home. Something didn't feel right. When I got to the downstairs room and I, I found mattresses down, I looked down, I saw there was a face right near the mattress. But when I looked down properly, I shouted Diana and I saw it was Diana. I removed the mattress. Diana was cold. She was not moving. I called her Diana, Diana. Nothing happened. I caught her neck, it was kind of swollen. And there was no pulse. I wished for her to just have a little pulse, just to be injured or anything, but she was, she was gone. She was cold. She, 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 she was just there. I am a human being, but I'm also born again. I need faith. I think I need faith. If there is anything, I need faith. Maybe also I need more grace. Because when you have lost a daughter like that one, what can, what can make your heart happy? What can make you feel content? You need grace and then you need faith. The assailants had pulled mattresses and covered Diana's lifeless body in preparation for setting it on fire. The gate was still open and Joshua ran into one of the attackers while leaving the house in a half. He had no idea what had just happened. The fact that I looked at him and I looked at him for a very long time. The fact that I cannot remember his face really burns me down. I can't remember the face of that guy, totally. And I saw him walk away. Diana's death stunned the whole neighborhood. And everyone pointed their finger at the notorious confirmed gang. We will not distinguish between those who harbor them those who finance them, and those who are their friends. We will treat them as criminals also. If they're saying a politician is involved, Hosea Vijana, and they have tangible evidence, prosecute. Kuliko waiting for Mambo in a go out of hand, tunafanya do some small, small reaction up, akuja wewe, and take a statement, tunafanya uchunguzi, and this is not the first time. Do you think what they've currently done is just a reaction? I think it's a reaction. Kwa sababu, if Kama the confirmed gang have been there for the last five, six, seven years ago, if Kama yuko ha, watu wa wauliwe kwa mawanga, will they have reacted the way we react size? Probably onge nyamaza. We don't know. Maybe some of the police uh, officers, maybe, or on the protection of payroll here, this kind of guy, you can never rule out. I am a preacher, and uh, I don't like blaming anybody. But I want to say this even in the open, that authority, our authority don't take things very serious until something happens very seriously. Then they come up and, and work on things. Because we have had five women murdered in the same way and there was no suspicion. So I think we need Susan Wamboi in Juguna was the fourth victim, killed in front of her three-year-old son before the attackers set the house on fire with the child still inside. Neighbors saw smoke coming from the roof and rushed to break the door. Mm 
Asa tukaanza pilika pilika za kuzima moto. Report ya post quantum inasema alinyongwa from behind. Na either kamba ama waya na mostly mimi na gezi ni brake cable either ya motorbike kama ya gari. Jilikuwa imemnyonga straight like yani mzunguko wa shingo. Iko imepanda upande wa jua masikio. Na ilikuwa imevunja kwa sofa gazi yake ilikuwa ime ama koi ilikuwa imekatika tayari pia alikuwa amegongeshwa kwa ukuta from the side juu kuna damu ilikuwa imeganda na vidole zake alikuwa ameinua kuelekea mikono zake zote mbili alikuwa ameinua kuelekea upande wa shingo na pia damu iko vidole vyenye kawaida ukiangalia vidole zako saizi zina ule uwekundu zake zilikuwa zimetana like kind of pale blue Susan's husband and two daughters are trying to pick up what was left by the killers. They've just come back from burying their mother. In their tribute, they said, We will miss your laughter and beautiful smile. No one will fill the gap that you have left in our hearts. The mattress the attackers used to try to set her body on fire is still intact. A lot of painful memories as the family tries to rebuild and move on. Sasa hata wa mama already wameanza kutuambia tuuze kama ni makuku. Juwezi weka kuku kwa sitting room ama bedroom. Hizi nyumba za kuku ziko nje. Na ni lazima mama atoke nje. Azipe chakula. So hii itaadhiri hata uchumi. Do you believe these attacks were just random? or they targeted these women? Uh, I think this was well organized because uh, those people were going to a place where there is only one person. It is hard for us to believe or to, to trust the government which has no results. And I know, you know, how would you believe if somebody just gives you stories and promises? without any result. The worst thing is a continuation of issues without coming to the end. These three women were brutally murdered along with three others in a similar manner and time frame between 1 p.m. and 3 p.m. Why target women? When it comes to organized crime, they are also sort of ritualistic. Ritualistic in the sense that they want to send a message. Because everything they do is not for fun. It's trying to send a message that if this is what we shall do when we get you, you will see what we've done to the other people. This particular Nakuru gangs are, are, are fond of killing women. I think this is the first time it has come to the public outlet, to the public light. But uh, two years ago, three years ago, we had the same cases of women being killed. In, and that was worse because they were even being killed and thrown into cactuses. Cactuses bush along um, the Lake Nakuru fences. So it's, it's not that it was something new, but I think this is what has caught people's attention, especially because it's near the election. But these cases are known. And a bitter woman. What will happen next? In a rare meeting in Bahati constituency, where all the six murders happened, residents in a county public meeting with political leaders and security officials expressed their outrage and called them out. Me as an ordinary Kenyan, what do you expect me to do against Confirm? You have the direct line to Uhuru. You have the direct line to Matiangi. But you come here to start complaining to us. Ati wakishikwa, wanaenda wanatolewa. Who doesn't know, nini nafanyika? Bwana I respect you so much. But you are letting us down. Susan, I respect you so much. But your friend is financing this. Yes. Mbunge wa bahati kemani ngonjiri. Umelea watoto wako wamekua tuwazima. Watoto wangu nataka nilelea wapi. If six people were mesha kufa and then the police blames the judiciary ni kazi ya nani ku collect evidence it is the police 
So if the police build a weak case, hakuna mtu atafungwa. Na mbona police wana collect a weak case? They are the weak link. Hao ndo wanachukua hongo, sio sisi? Hii area iko na two police posts, hakuna hata single car. Hiyo ni makosa yetu. Si tunalipa ushuru mpaka wanachukua kimabavu. Kwa my area MP. Aya, siku yenye ule msichana wa Opio aliuawa. My area Opito. My area MP Kemani Gojiri. Alisema kuna wa vijana 300 wameretwa hii mawanga. Wao vijana juu ni kutafuta solution wako wapi na ni nani aliwaleta? Viongozi wetu akina my beloved senator, my beloved governor na area MPs. Eh hawa vijana tukishika nyinyi ndiye mnawafanda. Tunashika mtu ukipeleka pale central unasikia wabunge fulani ambao sisi tunawajua wameenda wamwekea board na wametoka. Alafu mnakuja kutuambia tunalea nyoka. Tunalea nyoka laje na hiyo nyoka tunaishika tunaipeleka inaajiriwa. That's what fair. Mkubwa wa polisi hiyo shika na uandike pahari. Hapa teachers afadhali hiyo police station ifungwe. In in the Nakuru case where we we reference, there are already three politicians linked to these gangs, uh, or allegedly linked to these gangs, and they what they do is they they fund them, they fund them, uh, they fund them for different activities, they fund them for hooliganism. Every election cycle, you'll always have problems in Nakuru, you'll have problems in uh, Masai Mara, Trans Mara region. You always have problems in Baringo, areas of Tiati. You always have problems in Nairobi. Despite promises from the tough-talking government officials and security agencies, the estates are almost empty, with only a few people going to the few open shops. The economic activities here have nearly ground to a halt. Everyone fears the gang may strike again and all gates are closed. We were told some people have already moved up country. I do not understand why uh, in the years that I've been here, it only comes up when we have uh, elections. Last 2017, the same thing during elections. Now 2022, during elections. I, I honestly say no, not to this. This woman, who didn't want to be identified for security reasons, was lucky to escape an attack by the gang. Sasa vile walifika waliaza kuniambia atini wapesi kari. Kuanzia kwenye tulianzana nao hiyo safari vile ilikuwa kubwa. Nikashindo sikari na kujia wapi na nisukari nusu. Nipuambia huna sikari wali kuwacha wakenda zao. Haa ha, waliaza tena kuniambia ni wawake pesa kwa mpesa. Nikawambia simu ya kazi hakuna. Wakaniambia ni wapesi chenji. Nikawambia waende wakatafute na huko nji. Their plan failed for whatever reason. However, they left to pursue another target, and it was this woman. I have customer. customer. Akaniambia ni pe nusu. Haya. Nikamuambia na nikuota biri sina nusu. Wakaniambia sawa. Nikawapea kuota biri. Sasa wakanipea pesa. 
mimi hata si kuagalia nikaeka pesa hapo nikaagalia chinji sasa kwa sababu kwa elfu moja sasa kuna mama anausaga manguo pale alikuwa hapa akaniuli akaniambia na, na mimi sasa nina jitahidi ndio niwape chinji alafu niweke ulimama manji haya sasa nikawesabia chinji yao na nikawapea kutoka hivi huyo mama akanilisa umeangalia hizo pesa nikachukua hata sikuangalia nikatoka nazo ndio nikawakuta hapo ndio nilienda sasa nikawa bia hii pesa yenu si mzuri in this phone recording the shop owner confronts them with curious onlookers watching from around the corner and the two young men realize their cover is blown how do they identify their victims okay. Okay the way they identify their victim is a uh, wana visit mahali kuna duka wanauliza maswali kwa duka ama wanaingia kwa compound wakijua the weakness sana sana when they started with the shops and then pesas sasa kama neighbor huyu wetu huyu msichana mwenye aliwao hapa hivi walienda wakamkuta wakamuuliza ati kuna fundi alafu wakaya waka get access ya kuingia they did what they did and then they burned the, up the house tena pale they still the same thing walienda hapo kama kwa duka tena wakaingia na wakakuta huyo mama they did the same act they are young and audacious on social media a group calling itself Ghetto Kwamasonko, which has since been removed, posted images of gang members and their coded language talking about Mawanga, the area where the killings happened. It is actually very scary. You meet people, even when you go for political meetings, nobody wants to be there past three o'clock. We saw a Form 2 girl from uh, school confessing that she walks with a knife. Because she doesn't know what next. Is that what we want in our society? We have a majority of the people who are confirmed. They are not going to be able to do it. They are going to be able to do it. They are going to be able to do it. They are going to be able to do it. They are going to grow. And because the environment is silent, they are going to be able to cooperate with their own. They are going to grow and they are going to be able to do it. Initially, while we a SIM, we always a man to a prison or to a message, so you can have a flani, you can wrong number, and you can So, we are doing a lot of Within two hours, I make it a 20k. It's an expensive lifestyle. So, we have a lot of money, we have a lot of money, So, in a day, we have a lot of money. This CCTV footage captures the moment the gang of 15 split into three groups and attacked a man in broad daylight next to a busy road. The man is stabbed several times. He tries to run but trips and falls. They continue stabbing him before robbing him of his phone and money, leaving him for dead. They walk away like nothing has happened and no one pursues them. There is no way we can have an illegal gang in operate openly, daylight, mchana, doing all manner of things, and yet we have the security sector within us. And yet we are arrested within a day or two, Araja Pelewa Kutini, when we released within the police station. So Tamaliza Jeshida, Kama, the police themselves was equally mambo casually. The gangs don't shy away from telling us that uh, they are heavily involved with the police. Uh, there's a lot of uh, illegal taxation for these gang members by police police officers. In, what do you mean when you say illegal taxation? Illegal taxation is uh, police officers expect uh, a certain amount of money from all these gangs. When we get to that point where these organized criminal groups transcend into criminal gangs, organized, then it means first 
the space has been surrendered to the criminal groupings. And because of this unholy alliance between some police officers with the criminal gangs, politicians have exploited that space. The gangs are up for grabs, on call for any assignment, and sold to the highest bidder. You'll find one officer uh, trying to side with the, the bad guys. The guys is supposed to fight. Which is very unfortunate. Which is very unfortunate. There are issues now, issues of integrity, issues of malpractice that have been, we police internally through our own mechanisms, through internal affairs police, through power, and other structures um, like the courts. But whenever it happens, what I want to say is that we take action. Every electoral period, uh, and, and this is uh, since uh, the first uh, multi-party uh, politics and elections, this is 1992 to, to the last elections, we've uh, noted uh, that uh, organized groups have actually, the services of, of organized groups have actually been uh, procured by political groupings. Nakuru is among several counties marked as a hotspot by the NCIC. Investigators who don't want to be quoted in this story, owing to the sensitivities of the cases, say the targeting of women was to hit where it hurts the most. Why are those things happening now? Somebody somewhere is sending a message. You want to displace Kenyans. You deny them the right to vote, and that can't work. Come on, but if we protest the ground, then we end up coming on each other. It's after my shengini. Again, you can't intimidate people. Uh, you can tell people are scared. As I was coming for this funeral service, I found two vehicles, and I think people are trying to move out. Who do you think is benefiting? from these crimes? I think the, the politicians who are running for the seats, they want just to win the, 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 the mob. To, they, for, they are looking for information. According to the meeting we had before on, Saturday, on, Saturday, on Sunday, all politicians say that we have the members of who are brought here by the prominent people. No, should we gather that information as the evidence of what they were saying? Because of the ones who are saying. Yeah, they were arguing the old UDA and the Azimio. You know, these ones are competing with these ones. You know? I'm telling you, our politicians have learned the art of using the jobless youth in this country. And for as, con as long as they continue doing that, it's out of control. Very unfortunate, but that's how it is. The role of violent gangs embedded with politicians has become so widespread in the country that the criminal underworld has become so resilient and powerful as members shed one identity and adopt another in providing services to politicians. In 2002, then-President Daniel Arap Moi banned 18 criminal gangs. His successor, Mwai Kibaki, outlawed 33 in 2010 and President Uhuru Kenyatta banned 90 gangs in 2016. In 2017, the National Crime Research Center, a state agency under the Ministry of Interior, released a report suggesting there were 326 gangs by 2017, a rise from 33 in its 2010 count. A 2017 World Bank report claimed that in one ward in Mombasa, with a population of 60,000 people, has 55 criminal gangs. The reason party primaries were rocked by widespread violence, the chaos contributed to the low voter turnout. Voting in Akuru, for example, was suspended in at least two polling stations when armed youth stormed them. I was uh, an agent at the time of uh, nominations of uh, parties. Walikuwa watu kama 2030 na walikuwa juu ya mapikipiki. Wale ambao walingia ndani ya room walikuwa kama 15. Walikuwa na visu, wengine walikuwa na mpaka masheti. 
nikaanza ku squeeze niweze kusonga nitoke hapo karibu na mlango alikuwa ananiendea kuni kuni slash na kisu kibahati bahati nika, nika, nikaweka mkono wangu juu ndio kwa maana mkono ulikatwa na nikamwambia mimi sina shida na nikakaa chini nikatulia in a kuru case it's, it looks like it is cyclical uh, and, and uh, of course people want to take advantage of uh, the political um, atmosphere uh, in, in my opinion um, criminals always take advantage of um, issues that exacerbate uh, threats to a country so once you have threats uh, the question of, of a criminal will be how do I exploit it how do I exploit this uh, uh, weakness within uh, within within a particular country so within election period they know that we the police is probably overstretched uh, they know that uh, violence is likely to occur they know that uh, there will be a quite a number of people who need their services including politicians during this period so there's usually a surge in Nairobi gangs are largely prevalent in many informal settlements in Westlands, at the entrance of Kibagara Islam, are boots of dead gang members hanging from the power lines. We meet 33-year-old Peter Wainaina, a previously infamous criminal. Wainaina, who was jobless and very dependent on heavy narcotics, quickly rose through the ranks of a criminal organization, dodging arrests police bullets, and surviving three incidents of mob justice. Wainaina became known as Too Sharp and was on the city's most wanted list. You say my sequel enjoy life in high school. Juni ni pitia na nini. But, ni kwa kijana kwa kwa crime. Already pesa ime ni chokoza na crime. Najua, ni kona sauti. Najure time uko kwa shuguri, unapiga mamboka, unado, unezayani maintain maisha yako na nini. Kuburukuru who politician alikuja kakwambia nataka nini? By the conversation ya weshimiwa atu wendo kabani frani ama upige mtu frani ana kuitanga akwambia atatu siyongea na phone ala kushikia chai nini muna bonga ana kuambia kitu ya kwanza ana kuanzia na do nona ala kuuriza nona tufanya nini kwanza ananza kuangalia akili yako unataka tufanye nini ndi asi watu fear na a politician anaweza do anything anything akingangania hiyo seat either wasi wa fear kwa sympathy anything anaweza do najua anakuonesha niaje ile mtaa tunaenda tunavurugo sana najua tufanye aje itabidi kama ni hizo mahautu wachome na juu si tribe ina ni favor unajua pia kuangalia the tribe na nini kwa politics hiyo tribe ni favor tufanyaje sasa conversation inaanzia hapo anakupatia do tafuta jeshi ama endo ufanye hivyo unajua ni kitu ili ni happen here but after nilichukua do ni kuanga na maswali mob hizo do alikupatia alikwambia ufanye nini alikuwa ananiambia nikachome mta Utaa next. Najua. But nika kuwa na maswari mingi. Prisi nye nenda kuchoma. Na choma wakina nani. Nona. Sina choma mibi kuna wasi wetu wanaka huko. Nili kuanga. Mimu wenye ni kwa madara. Lakini kuna maswari zangu. Nona. Haa nika sema hizi mado. Hizi mado nita manga. Sao ni kupatia pisa ngapi? Hame ni patia 50 thou. By petrol na nini. Kasema hii donta manga. Nikaita vijana. 
hapo ndio nilianza niko kwa crime but nimeanza kuwa na ile mind ya vijana ni aje manze tunafaa tu protect mtaa yetu ajali kama kuna mtu atakufa hataki kujua hiyo ni none of our business hizi politics za mtaa msena kama anaangalia na hesabu tribe ni tribe gani kubwa ni tribe yangu eh yeah. anaanza kuuzia vijana wake ubaya ile tribe kitu tribe ianza na community tribe inaanza na mheshimiwa ile tribe wapendi unajua kwanza hawa win ka tribe yake alafu akam atafute magul atafute nyinyi mbogi yangu unajua lazima mprotect hii power ni yenu unajua msia stay kuwaletea ujinga kwanza na vitu zenye anakuward kwa kichwa yako these are the vitu zenye mbaya mbaya kwa kichwa yako afu anakuambia niaje ndio nifanye kitu fulani lazima umfanye hivi unajua afai kuingia hiyo mtaa unajua afai sijui kufanya nini sasa nakuambia ule msi mwingine na ndio nikakuwa na na ile uchungu ya kusema niaje kweli politician hezi fanya campaign bila kutaja mwenzake juu pia politician wengi either wana support na gavana wako kwa opposition wamekuwa weshimiwa tams zao zimekuwa sarcastic sana kitu yote anataka kubonga anataka udhishe mwenzake ndio onekane ndio maraika unajua but kwa mtaani unakuta hizi vitu zime happen umesikia visa weshimiwa na kam anazuio kuingia ghetto fulani ana vurugu gari yake imepasuriwa vio unajua mwenzake ndiye amepanga shughuli ndio mtandao aseme si unaona hata nani atakikani pale fulani na kitu next hata ufuate ni usiata za leo night usikie kama mtu alienda kavurugu press fulani mwenzake anasema si tuliwaambia hata walienda pale fulani hawatakikani ni vitu gani politician wanataka kikuja ghetto ama mtaa anataka ama vijana wafanye kitu cha kwanza politician akikam ghetto anataka baye vijana pombe wasikue kwa akili zao sawa ndio akiwaambia mwenye atuletea ujinga avurugwe unajua politician anafurahia wasio kivurugo ndio atulize unajua hata ikujua kaka kuna mtu atakufa hata ikujua kani opponent wake avurugwe ndio kujianze kusema vijana mjafanya poa unajua hizi ni vitu zime happen kuna politician ameni pima akili kuniambia hii seat tunaitaka no matter what atakaa pat mwenzake mwenzake anafaa uawe ama nini sasa kitu mimi si kuanda uh, kitu niliwanda sana anasema juu time alikuwa na piga tei unaona na vitu wanabonga anasema hata kukaa ni kuua mtu tutaua umeshika unaweza pata ma vijana wapige shughuli unajua unajua hiyo ni message anakupatia ukitoe kufikiria hizi ni vitu pia mekaa chini akafikiria sana before ifike hiyo revo na nini but ukimuonesha mweshi wezi kama tutapiga tunapiga huyu candidate vizuri ki election hiyo ndio better nakwambia kwa nini nawaambia itabidika hivyo jo kuna kitu mbaya kama brad ishi kiku kiku sa iku hunt lakini unakuta yeye yuko hapo akisha shinda kiti kwa vijana huenda wanasahulika ama eh hey, wengi ukipata city wanakusahau una kwa brain na kwake hata ikukupe job unajua msaji unajua siri zake mingi mm. ana coach letu hivyo kitu na do anaishingia kikupe threat Najua na do ukutuma ni rais ni vijana wangapi wamekuwa karibu na waheshimiwa na uawa Hizo kijana ni broga wa mweshi unasikia amemadwa hizo ni vitu ziko Ana madoju kijana anamwambia mdosi tulipata seat tuliagiri sasa umeniweka kando Eh hey, mdosi anaona kizidi ku move kwa hiyo stages atakuja kuwa mbaya. Ye mwenyewe anajua vile atamshughulikia na anakuwa kwanza ku na family. 
zili vitu zime happen anaua alafu anakuja kuambia familia pole na anagaramia hata matanga na nini We meet 30-year-old Nelly, not her real name. Just like Peter Oinaina, her friends exposed her to the life of crime at 15. She achieved notoriety for her ability to mobilize young people. Politicians are her prominent clients. Kuna MP flani, wacha nisimu mention, kalini, kalini ambia nataka a hundred boys, eh? So I mean, come on, is my boy, wa Baba Ndogo. Come on, is my boy, wa D. My boy, wa Coach. Now we're gonna pay one thousand bob each. But we're gonna end up with a bomb with my number zile. What we're gonna do? Cause we're gonna go to the end. Come on, we're gonna go to the end. Cause we're gonna end up with a bomb with my number. We're gonna go to the end. Cause we're gonna end up with a bomb with my number. We're gonna go to the end. Cause we're gonna end up with a bomb with my number. We're gonna go to the end. Cause we're gonna wameongoja huko na maboy wengi tuseme like naweza sema 20 of them died eh? na wengine wakashiko na wakati walishikwa so ule mtu alienda alienda underground mimi ni ground mobilizer naweza sema Nairobi mzima eh a politician unipata wakitaka watu hata wakitaka watu waende nyeri wale wanalipwa ndapigwa watu simu ni ambue tunataka 30 people waende nyeri na tunaketa transport yao yani mobility yao na do yao so hivyo ndio nilipata so hao tu 30 mm. wakienda kama nyeri kazi yao ni gani kujaza tu ground publicity na kuna wale wa kuvuruga heiko Ukitaka wa peace tunakupea ukitaka wa kuvuruga tunakupea. So wa umebeba weapons wakienda ama wanaenda tu mkono tupu. Wakifika huko ni wanatafuta anga kwa ground. Ujeo na gari ya politician imeenda ikachapo na mawe imevunjika ime wind screen. Hizo tunaona daily na hata tuna report. So ni au ma vijana hii ndio kazi yao. Hiyo hii huanga ni kazi yao. Ana kuanga haya de. Hiyo ni job yao. So hakuna campaign inapigwa bila mobilization ya vijana either wa kukoza vurugu ama tu ile kuonyesha na kuna numbers hakuna 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 mtu anaweza jitolea kwenda tu kusimama kwa no unless iwe ni mama eh na ni rea hakuna mtu anaweza jitolea kwenda kwa campaign acha nenda kusikiza wewe mtu kitu anasema hakuna kabisa hiyo la hakuna anga lazima facilitation Lazima upewe pesa ya kutoa watu, kuleta watu kwa 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 venue. Mostly politician anakuja kwa ground. Yeye anatupeanga venue, tunaenda tunampata hapo, tunaanza discussion hapo. Na mkimpea venue, pia hata apia anakataanga. Labda yeye venue yake ndio muende mali amesema. Kwa nini? Anasema anga security purpose. Sasa hapo ndio tukienda tuna discuss kama ni in terms of money na wanakuanga willing kutoa pesa ngapi hivi kuna politician za to to hata 200000 tunaenda nga straight to the point hmm? na wanatuambia kwanza mkiingia mna mbongo mzima kila mtu simu lazima iko mali pamoja The 1990s provided one of the early examples of how political competition can drive politicians to sponsor and protect gangs. The rise of Jeshile Mbakasi Ward and its affiliation to the now deceased MP David Mwenje later turned into an outfit that controlled urban resources and land distribution. Jeshila Mbakasi would later be a force, even in political rallies. Other emerging gangs copied the same script.
We meet another gang in Eastlands, but they have some conditions before the interview. I was not permitted to inquire about their affiliation with a well-known politician or their connections to current political engagements. However, they were open to discussing their exploits and why they chose a life of crime. <laughs> Masama tu kusama tu kamaliza jaza zetu wa kwa na hile uwezo Kata na patata asa ingine kupata adichi ni shida Sato kwa tunanza kuzulu wa zuwe kabili sato kwa nza hile kujifunisha wizi ndogo ndogo Ikenerega kwa kubwa Kata na bidisa ingine juu meka hidra una kazi Mataka ulipe nyumba Umeamua kwa na madem pia unataka uwe mzuri Na bidi munashika na mabijana ingine Unatumia ikon kama hii Mnaenda wa mnataki mtu, mnaenda wa mnataka ni simu, makame, raivi, pesa, mnatroka nazo, na mnaenda wa mnaenda wa vitu. Sangine mna kaidu wa sana, tapia mwenye ngila wa kama drugs, mnaenda kuchiku kama mwoka, mnaenda wa kulewe ya pewa na mabangi, mnatumia tumia. Mnatumia msi? Ida ida kutu mnaenda wa tumia labda wa ni madawa, kusama hizi madawa za kumeza meza, hizi wa kutu kama bangi hivyo, na kuchimira na kunye kombe. Tumekaribu sana. Sangine sawa kilewa ndo unafanya crime zaidi. Maru unakuli unashikwa. Unaenda lau na pelo kwa romano na kamezi sita miazi nane. Unachiliwa. Balu kia chiliwa vile umezidi kubalu kwa ndajela ndo unakuwa addict. Unazidi balu kwa nyayu walifu. Ukujari ukujimendeni kidogo fungwe biyashari na kwa ningumu. Ikisi umuzi kutani mtu nayo. Nikikusimamisha na kuambia ukwe pesa. Kama sivyo nitakudunga. Na kutesa mtu wa nasali mwamuri ya natuwa pesa. Mbado ndo ipone yangu ule naza kuna nakimbia kuta kunishika pia ni kudunga So kani kuificha ukitembea unatembea umeificha wapi? Niwe kaibu Atembea kani niwe kaibu So ni wapi na wapi mefanya nini uwezi Mali medunga hatu, mavisu, ni kama place kama gani hivi? Sili, along Jija Road Na ili ya kama ya kamukunji hivi Hata pia town kuna rojo tu kuna nanga pia na ayo Tao Streets kama gani hivi tao? Tao kama River Road hivi. Hii tao ni atini, River Road hivi pa. Uo tumia hii chuma kufanya nini sasa? Hii, ni NKS. Mtu wa kijaribu kuresi, kuresi hizi. Ati yuko mnyanganya. Na mpiga, mpiga ya kichwa. Hii si kisi ya mboga hii? Hii si ya mboga. Atani ukibiangalevi. Tepenye ni nini, inayona. Hii si ya mboga, unaona. Hii ni umejiundia? Mbada yu 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 Na mjibu na zaru, na zaku zakurudi, na madangu wa jini, sisi kazi wa kurudi, lakini Sani kwa mbatu mungu, na uja nitamena mbatu mungu, wata nikienda yu mra, na jiwa ngatu, mungu wangu miu ni, mitate Ukienda kuja yu ya shugli, ndo wando ilo uwaga, na zungu tumiza mwa drugs pia Hata kama una do, na zapitia kwa ule ya pedla, mbe wa kopeso, na ndajia wuta mlete ya do, ndo upata ile moral Ndiwa ke ile, ile uwaga, ni uzikuto uwaga Talking to these gang members, I can't help but think it's only a matter of time before they end up dead or in prison. Their underbelly is poverty. To politicians, they are just tools of violence in pursuit of political power. Issues of um, gangs in this country have been around for long. But Mungiki was, I think, the major, most serious threat to internal security of this country. The story we know about Mungiki is that uh, a few men were picked up by certain politicians from uh, Central Province to deal with the issues of uh, 
tribal clashes in Molo and Olenguron. That was 1992. Uh, they were meant to go and protect the tribe that was being believed to be being eliminated, displaced from their farms in Molo and Olenguron. So certain politicians from central province sent their few people uh, in the guise of protecting their own. But uh, I think the groupings evolved and it took its own life. I think they went beyond the control of the politicians and they became a menace in certain parts of Nakuru district. So what we hear is uh, at some point, the then government of the Republic of Kenya decided to absorb these people so that they moved them from the other side of the political divide into the Kano regime. Then the first thing they were made to do or were given as a present was to be given the management of Nakuru Matato stage, where they'll collect their own money, they'll have their own income. Little did the government know that by making them test the freedom of how to generate their own income, the grouping exponentially grew to a point where now it was all over the country. Moranga, Nyeri, Nanyuki, Nairobi especially, and especially on the matters of uh, managing bus parks. And I think from there, the rest is history. The Mungiki gang recruited tens of thousands of young people and took over some sections of the economy, extorting taxes from the Matatu industry. Mungiki soon became a criminal force, spreading terror and causing a massive public outcry, following a series of gruesome executions as they took over bus parks across the country and other criminal ventures. How much money were they making? At some point, some organizations had started doing some baseline surveys on the kind of income that that group was actually getting at that time. And we, we were told at some point they were making close to 5 million shillings per day from all matatus in Nairobi. But at that time, Nairobi had close to 22,000 matatus or something. Nairobi and the environs. So if you look at that thing and you multiply with the whole country. The story of Mungiki and its enablers polarized the country, exposing the associational life between politicians and the criminal underworld. A monster was born, and what started as a gang with a political objective pushed the country into blood-stained carnage. The threat of political violence drawing in criminal gangs is very real. I think in, in these uh, elections, much as I know Kenyans have had lessons in the 2007-2008 uh, outcomes of the contested elections, I think the, the role of the youth remains critical and significant in how the elections will play out, particularly from the sense of uh, either peaceful elections where youths are actually used as agents of peace or uh, violent elections where the youths are actually actors in uh, perpetrating violence. What then makes this transitional election different? I'll tell you this, this is a transitional election, yes. But what is happening now is what happened in 1992 what happened in 1997. At that time, there was a sense of transition where Kano felt it was losing power. 1997, the same, Kano thought, or other politicians thought they could dislodge Kano. And that's why we had issues in 1992, we had issues in 1997. It was something closer to what we are seeing now. 
transitional politics where there's this group of politicians or group of people who feel that they are moving from this regime to this other regime. So the stakes, Dennis, are very high. The stakes are very high. And because our politicians take politics as a way of life, they'll go out of their way to do what is criminal in nature to retain their political standings. We, we have, of course, been able to identify our own hotspots uh, based on uh, previous uh, uh, election uh, violence that has occurred. Uh, we have given that attention, but we are also cognizant of the fact that maybe new hotspots would might come in, uh, and we are prepared for that. Gangs are becoming autonomous from the political financiers and new entrants into the political space are finding precedence. Kenya atuna atuna viongozi tuko na politician na unajua kwa feed ya politician mind yake ni nini. I do anything apart a seat. The increasing youth population is a time bomb only waiting to explode and election periods such as now provide the cover they need and the motivation to kill and maim for money, leaving in their wake distraught families and terrified neighborhoods as the country slowly turns into a land where gangs reign supreme. Dennis Okari, NTV Investigates.